Alrighty, we are at the home stretch of Banjo Kazooie. We just need one more world completed. Now we have everything. Hello, everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, we am, uh. Well. You guys get the point by now, we complete the rest of Bucket Bay. And now, today's I'm sober. Head off to the final world um, uh, of the game. It's probably the most complicated um, uh, world in the game as well. Um, uh, we'll look into that. We have not gone down here yet. This is a um, uh, pool that features the entrance to Clip Clop Wood. We can't do anything. <laughs> we need to actually do something else first, actually. We need to spawn a um, uh, G switch right here so we can solve the puzzle. Um, This is the only level that does this, because it's the final world, and it's located here for some reason. <laughs> Though granted, there's actually a theory that that's may not even be where it was originally supposed to be located. Um, uh... So you may be wondering, where is the um, uh, switch? Well, um, it's in a relatively simple location, don't worry. Remember the door I went through and you guys didn't actually see what it was, I'm, uh... Because I ended up, I'm, uh... Cutting it out, I'm, uh... Well, I didn't want you guys to see it yet, I'm, uh... I'm honestly convinced that to get through this, you have to use gold feathers because there's no way they intended for this stuff to happen. See? <laughs> so, yeah, here's the empty entrance to Click Clock Wood. I'm, uh. As I was explaining the theory, I'm, uh... Okay, that we don't want to enter yet, I'm, uh... It's theorized that the entrance to, um, uh... Clip Clock Wood is actually not... Was... Is actually not the intended one. Location of where it was supposed to be, excuse me. I'm butchering that completely. Anywho, the switch is right here. And a dead giveaway, I don't see it, but uh, what do I know? I'm never good at these things. It's the um, uh, tree thing. Uh, uh, the tree graphic, excuse me. Um, head back down the tunnel. Alright, click clock wood. You just need 15 JDs to open this up. There we go, click clock wood. Alrighty, back in here. Alrighty, now that we have. Oh, whoops. Talent Trot. Now that we have a uh, hook lock wood unlock, we can enter here. So. This is Click Clock Wood. We have notes over there. 
honeycomb pieces over there. Red feathers over there. And eggs over there. So Click Clock Wood is basically I'm a composed of four different sections. Spring, summer, autumn, and uh, winter. We're gonna start out with spring, of course, I'm a... Oh, wait. <laughs> I have no idea how long these videos are gonna be, <laughs> because... Yeah, <laughs> this level can probably take an eternity. But we're gonna enter spring first. I also have um, a cheat sheet here, so I tell me with notes. I'm uh, so I should know I'm uh, it is because thankfully the wiki had I'm uh, Not B. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I already had more than enough. Oh well, <laughs> I didn't need that combo token. Somebody move this boulder. Not naughty can get his his house. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> While well, Clunk Wood's not one of my favorites, it definitely is, in my opinion, a worthy final area in the game. Like, it's big. It is large enough to... But wait, that means... That I don't even know what I'm thinking anymore, huh? Okay, these guys, um... What? I keep pressing B! Oh my god. These guys work the same as those creatures we saw near Clanker's Cavern. Oops. Oh well, whatever. I can wrap this honeycomb piece down here. The Raging Bull! I forget I can stun him. Oh, I thought I saw something on Mumbo's mouth. No, not Mumbo's mouth. Mumbo's hot for a sec. X! Not B! X! <laughs> this is not Spyro, this is not Clive and Wrench, this is Banjo Kazooie. If you're wondering why I refer to Spyro, it's because B is equivalent to Circle <laughs> on an Xbox controller and to the PS PlayStation controller. Not sure why I try to abbreviate PlayStation when it's not needed, when it <laughs> doesn't have a number. I'm just gonna stop talking. Ah, uh, that's worthless. <laughs> actually, no, I, I actually know how to get those, actually. I'm, uh... Not B. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna keep making the same mistake, aren't I? This is what I get for playing another 3D clock wall. 
recording of a Banjo Kazooie. For the love of God. Wait a sec. Okay, I think the wiki lied to me. It's not 16 here. It's because I have more than that. I'm 20 at the moment. Okay, then. This is spring, right? This should, yeah. I'm pretty sure I went through spring. Um. Like, we'll know for sure, I'm, uh, after I'm, uh, we're done with this area here. We do continue in this area, right? I feel like, yeah, we do. That's th okay, those aren't worth getting. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I fall. Okay, we can't enter here yet. Uh, Um, sir. There we go. Ah, oh, that's tragic. That's an instance where you need a ledge crap, in my opinion. Because in in the sequel, I easily make that I'm a <laughs> catch because I am aware that you can learn how to ledge grab in that game. And that if this was Super Mario 64, I definitely am a make that jump as well. I can't actually pull on. Yeah, I definitely can because Banjo is um, uh, making a stop, so I'm pretty sure I can jump on these. So I'll worry about that later, I'm uh.
There we go. Uh... There is nothing useful for me here. Okay, hold on. This is making me afraid of heights, and I'm not even afraid of heights. Oh my god. Okay, that's the switch to activate the summer area. Ugh. Jump, chew, now. Now I'm not like the acorns, I'll just eat a few more. Yeah, we have this squirrel over here. Uh, is there anything else? Uh... Okay, yeah, I see it. Up there, please, my god. Alright, we have this thing again. Oh, me, Yuri! Fiery the mighty eel! Need sleep now! Alrighty then. <laughs> No, 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 no. Careful, my god. Alright, we have a ginger there that we can't grab yet. Enter here. Alrighty, first jiggy of them, uh. Click clock ward. I don't think there's anything else in here, really. I am gonna destroy you, though, for this life. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm, uh... So that's it for, um, uh... Up here, uh... Land in the water? No, I landed on the ground. Okay, whatever. Uh, but we're not done with, um, uh, the, um, uh, spring weather. Because as we saw, we have Mumbo here. Oops. Grab the waiting boots. And just in case, is there anything? No, there's nothing. Alrighty. Mumbo requires 25 tokens here. This is his final transformation for you. And it is... A Bumblebee. Mumbo magic much good. He is best yet. Okay, that's just eggs. Okay, then. The bee is probably my favorite one. It's either this one or um, uh... Actually, I don't know what would be my favorite. Outside the bee. Probably the crocodile. Even though I'm, uh... 
that Dr. V not Dr. Vok, that Mr. Vile mission probably ruined it for me. Uh. Yeah, this is how you get things in these, uh, plants. I'm like, you just become the bee. Uh. But yeah, um, the bee, uh, is also how you're gonna... Wait, hold on. Can I not go farther? I thought I could go further up, unless, hold on, maybe I have to... Hold on, first off, I missed something completely. We have to go in here first. <laughs> Thank you. Now we have three useless mobile tokens. Bzz, hello, fat little bee. We Zubas are guarding Grunty's golden honey piece. We've been told there's a honey bear out there. Okay, that's some uh, something we can't do yet, actually. Uh, there is a ginger in here, however. I do kind of wish these transformations weren't kind of limited, uh, like, yeah, it's cool to fly, but I'm, uh, I wish I can ground pound things with a bee stinger, though. Oh, this is what I was thinking of. All right, that's Jiggy number two, I'm, uh, This Jiggy, by the way, um... I embarrassingly got this one last in my, um, uh, Original playthrough of this game. <laughs> Not my brightest moment. I forgot I didn't collect it, apparently. Like, I thought I collected it, but no, I was missing it. So I have to go through the entire levels, the entire uh, seasons to figure out what on earth I miss. Wait, 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 that's where I'm not supposed to... Well, not supposed to, but that's where I wanted to go. Getting ground level with the B can be a ma... Uh, a bit of a chore, though. I will admit. And sometimes controlling it. Oh, ew! Going in the water makes you fly automatically. Ugh. Oh, whoops. the B, I'm pretty sure. And we're done with the uh, spring, for that matter. So now we can head off to um, uh, summer. 